All right, what's going on, Cancer? <sighs> mm. Welcome to Jewelry Box Tarot. This is your girl, Jess, here to drop these jewels. This is your next 48 hours. However, Cancer resonates in your chart. You could be cross-watching. What's up? You're welcome as well. General message, though, guys, so please take this for you and leave the rest behind. So, Cancer, let me tell you something. Somebody could have tried to pay someone to block you or stop you or somebody invested in a lot of time, money, and energy into trying to steal an opportunity from you, okay? This person is upset. They're losing their fucking shit because they realize that whatever it was that they thought or that they was trying to steal from you, somebody actually thought that they accomplished this. I'm getting somebody celebrating a little too soon. Now it's like the reality has set in and it's like their skin is melting off because they can't believe that shit. <laughs> I don't know. It's like um, somebody has shedded their skin. Just, oh, all those cars don't fall out. Yeah, see? It's a storm warning, okay? What the, What is this? It's a group of people here. God was watching them, what they was doing under the moon. They did a whole bunch of research because they thought they was going to get whatever you got or been watching you. Yeah, here's Ursula, who's coming in and trying to steal your opportunities in life and love, Okay? Yeah, but you've been blocking these people, protecting yourself. You're just living your life, trying to be fulfilled, you know, making new friends. And, you know, a lot of just new opportunities in general. And there's somebody who does not like this, somebody who was trying to take this, okay? Somebody could be a Virgo or a Libra. Something about the month of September is significant. Mm hmm But let's see. Somebody did celebrate too soon, though, but let's see what's going on in the next 48 hours in regards to the energy I'm picking up. Monday morning. Uh, so, yeah, whatever. Let's see. It's like first thing in the morning, top of the week. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> Queen of Swords, I told you. Somebody was invested in this shit. Somebody really thought that they was going to be able to block, stop, or take some sort of opportunity that was coming towards you. Somebody saw it and was like, oh my gosh, cancer can't have this. Like I said, you could be done with a Libra, Queen of Swords, Libra energy. But <sighs> somebody, this is... I'm sorry. It's just, I'm get. I keep, all I keep hearing is this is just real sad. Like, this is really, really sad. Like, somebody wasted a lot of time and energy to try to take and steal from you here, Cancer. Yeah, Eight of Swords. You could have been feeling like, you know, isolated or, you know, really mentally stuck in this because somebody has been projecting this out to you. Somebody has been paying to get this done on you. Like, somebody has been purposely making your life hell. Somebody has been throwing problems into your life, like literally, like they could be paying people to come and start problems and issues with you. Like they know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. This is like telephone attack on cancer. Somebody really wanted you stressed out and low, like so that way it, it, they went through all these different avenues to do it. Like, so somebody literally... They were sending people in to block you. They was hoping, like, and maybe something did get delayed for you. And this person was trying to hurry up and take what it was that you were working on that they delayed for you. And for some of you guys, like, they actually went and paid someone to, like, stop you. And they were, like, sending you, like, mental attacks and stuff. They were sending things towards you that was to drain you mentally, Okay. To kill you spiritually. Somebody's trying to kill you in the spirit. Look. This Queen of Wands. The, the dark bitch. She showed up in y'all read. And she took a lot of action in trying to do this. Her, She paid somebody. I told you. That's the practitioner. I feel like the practitioner could have even been like, yo, don't do this shit. Or, yo, this shit gonna backfire. And she just, no, keep going. Or he, whatever. But the energy's on a card. It was like they want, and I was gonna say energy swap. That's when I had that big long gap. Like that pause, because it was giving me the vibe like somebody was trying to switch your like 
switch your chakras, flip your chakras around and make you ungrounded like crazy and your intuition off. Somebody's trying to reshift you and leave you in this eight of swords state or not even like, because I feel like this is debris of whatever mental attacks they were sending. They was trying to force you from this eight to this nine of swords where you, I'm hearing debilitated, like somebody wanted you so mentally disturbed that you were stuck in a bed, stuck in a house, or locked up in some sort of asylum. And now this bitch is mad because this is her. Like, I feel like these are her glowing eyes. But this Queen of Wands. This is this Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands wanted you like this. Because this is how the Queen of Wands really is. But now it's like whatever they did with this practice. That's why this practitioner is like, oh shit, like you shouldn't do this. And it was like, whatever, do it. And now this person's like, if they ain't had, if, if it was felt that this person didn't have a soul, oh, it's definitely shown. Like, this person has forced themselves into this Nine of Swords energy now. They have taken this on because they were already in the Eight of Swords energy about you, too. That's why this person was trying to swap out your energy, swap out your destiny or whatever. Mm. What happened in the past? Yeah, Four of Coins. You held back. Like, you, you don't, you weren't saying anything to people. All these, um, like I said, this person's been doing this shit for a long time, for like the last four years. This person has been attacking you. We're going to clarify that one. Yeah, justice is here. Justice is prevailing. Libra energy. Capricorn over here. But this person has been working on you for like the last four years. What's under the deck? Yeah, what I, nine of swords, what I kept talking about. I told you, this person is trying to put you on a nine of swords energy. What's this four of wands here for um, cancer in the next 48 hours? Yeah, you're about to find out. Somebody has Somebody's going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Yeah, we got the King of Cups here. The Four of Cups. You wanted nothing to do with whoever this King of Cups was. That was a lost cause. Could be somebody you have children with. Okay, this could even be your own parents that's doing this shit or whatever. Or a parent. But um, you could have also been married to this person or lived with this person. We got 444. I feel like you held back from whoever this King of Cups energy was. Yeah, because you found out some truths about this person. The two of swords, the decisions that they were making, the people that they decided to affiliate themselves with. This person took the Queen of Wands vaccine and now they fucked up in the mind. Yeah, these people were trying to slow you down and you figured that out. Virgo energy right there with that Knight of Coins. Okay, Libra out here. Cancer, Scorpio. But you started holding back from whoever this energy was that came in acting like they loved you. Yeah, you blocked the hell out of this energy with the Seven of Wands energy here, Leo. You could be a July Cancer. But you blocked this person out because you knew what they were about, what they were, what they like, you knew that this person wasn't true. This could have been one of them people that this Queen of Wands sent in to block you. Yeah, they're a part of this group. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. I heard wicked. Yeah, this person got kids. This is somebody from your past. Somebody who also could have been a friend. Okay, this is somebody who's still pissed off about something that happened. In, like, I'm hearing about over 10 years ago. Six or ten years ago. Yeah, somebody can't let... This Queen of Wands can't let shit go. They don't know how to move forward here. Yeah, they are lack mindset. This is a lack bitch. Okay? What's... Why is the Eight of Swords here? Yeah, they have... You're in your head because you're... It's, you're having a string of bad luck right now because somebody is sending this shit to you. Like, you're being forced into an isolation because literally somebody is sending shit around you in your ear. Somebody is really trying to force their hand and trying to place some sort of bad karma on you. Could be a Virgo, could be a Leo, a Taurus, a Aquarius, or a Scorpio, right? <laughs> but that's what's happening. Yeah, and it's they're using a lot of word magic here. Somebody's gossiping, trying to defame your character. They're sending in people with this bullshit. Yeah, these fake-ass love offers, Knight of Cups, okay, Pisces energy. Yeah, like, they even trying to fuck with your work here. They're trying to get people to come and fuck with you on your job to make you mess up your job or get fired. I'm hearing indecent, pro indecent proposals. <laughs> I wanted to say indecent 
uh, indecent exposure. That's what I was like hearing or seeing in my head. But indecent proposal, like people, they were like getting people at your job to come in and try to mess with you. Yeah. <laughs> Do all this devil shit so that you can get caught up. Somebody was trying to get like a sexual harassment case on you and all this shit. This is crazy. This is crazy. Capricorn and um, Aquarius energy. This could have been hap This could have happened last month. This could happen in January. This yeah, that's the truth. They were sending people in to try to like screw you over, like make you make deals with the devil. They were trying to force your hand. Justice is here to prevail. It is, yeah, and this earth's little bitch or whatever it is, it ends into all of this stupid shit. And that has been your message. Be on the lookout, okay? Justice is prevailing in the next 48 hours because you're, this bitch about to lose her mind. Because this her now, and it's Nine of Swords. That's what this angst is. It's not yours. Yeah, I call it how I see it, Cancer, okay? I'm calling it how I see it. That That's it's written. It's law. This bitch is about to lose their mind. And you're about to see it in the next 48 hours. You're going to get some sort of news or you're going to feel an inkling. Or you're going to feel like a weight is going to lift off of you suddenly. And when you feel like just suddenly light and like your mind is stuff free and clear. And like you're just, maybe your motivation or something is down. It's going to just like spunk back out of nowhere. This bitch losing her mind. Whatever they just tried to do, that shit just went back. So, Cancer, that has been your reading. I really hope to help. If you need to book a personal, I'm here for you. You can book on my website. And uh, I love your face. Until the next time we speak, peace out.